Hello everyone, welcome to COSA 1 and 601 Late Start. I'm Professor Almeida and I am your instructor for the class. Now, this video is for both my online COSA 1 and face-to-face -face combined COSA 1 and 601 sections. It's the same material, but the delivery is totally different. And again, this video is for both classes. If you need to take a break at any time, feel free to use the pause button. I want to show you what to expect for your first week starting on Monday, October 23rd. We will be meeting for the final eight weeks of the fall semester, and that's what makes it a late start course. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. To get started, you want to visit the Long Beach City College website at lbcc.edu. And you'll see at the top we have the Viking Portal, and you'll want to log in to the Viking Portal using your student ID and password. This is the same information you would have used when you signed up for the class. Now, for the face-to-face -face folks, you will need to reset your Viking Portal password in order to log into the classroom computers. The easiest way to do that is to log into the Viking Portal on your mobile device. Now, if you don't have access to a mobile device, you will need to visit the Student Technology Help Desk. They are on the second floor of the library at LAC. If you go up the stairs, you'll see the kiosk off to your right, and they will be able to assist you. It's going to be a bit tricky since we are meeting at 8 a.m. on Monday. Okay, so let's make sure that you get your Viking Portal password reset so that you can log in to the classroom computers and follow along. For the online folks, uh, you don't need to reset your Viking Portal password unless you need to use what's called Citrix Student Labs and you'll see a separate announcement on how all of that works. So once you are in your Viking Portal, you should see a big button for Canvas. This is what the Canvas dashboard looks like, and hopefully our COSA 1 or COSA 1 and 601 class will be there. You can click on the class to get started. Now, if you don't have this view in Canvas, you want to make sure you switch to card view so that you can see your classes in the dashboard. This is what the COSA 1 class looks like, and again, it's the same for the online folks as well as the face-to-face -face combined COSA 1 and 601. Again, I'm Professor Almeida, glad to have you all aboard, and you can learn more about me by visiting my website at jpalmeida.com. The easiest way to contact me if you have questions about the class is to use what's called the Canvas Inbox, and that's this icon over to the left here. This is the Canvas Inbox, also known as Canvas Conversations. I do ask that you allow 24 to 36 hours for me to get back to you. My student office hours are a way for you to connect with me about the course and materials. I'm available Mondays in person from 1.30 to 3.30 p.m. in my office in M244. Now, if you need to see me in person, stop by the computer lab in M229 and let the instructional assistants know that you are there to see me and then I will come out to see you. Now on Thursdays, I will be hanging out in the Canvas live chat here to the left from 9 a.m. to noon Pacific time. Outside of the live chat, you can use it to talk amongst yourselves, but if you need to get a hold of me outside of my student office hours, please do use the Canvas inbox. Now, you'll see how to get started here, and there are four items that we are going to go over. For the online folks, it's very important that you get settled in and you go through those four items. Face-to-face -face folks, you signed up for face-to-face -face for a reason, and I will expect you to show up on Monday, and we will go over the class particulars and what are the expectations, you know, going over those four items together. And then uh, once we're done with that, we're going to get started with uh, your Windows 11 training that you'll see momentarily. But here it is. We have the four items on how to get started, and you want to begin by downloading and reading the syllabus. The syllabus is your guide to this class and what to expect. It's very important that you take the time to read the syllabus and refer to it as needed throughout the eight weeks that we will be together. So you have your important dates and deadlines. Um, 
different campus resources, how the class is going to work. Okay, so make sure you take a look at all of this. And then when we get to the end, you'll see the schedule for the eight weeks. I want you to take the due dates that you see here and plug them into your personal calendar. As a matter of fact, that's the second item on the list here. Once you have done that, you will need to register with SimNet. You'll see the link to the left here, McGraw-Hill SimNet. And this link, register with SimNet, this will take you to the SimNet information page. You'll see that I've included videos on how to work through the assignments. So it's very important that you take a look at this and you will need to purchase an access code uh, to, act, to get to the assignments. Now, you can buy the access code at the bookstore or you can purchase directly in SimNet for about $50 plus tax. It's very important that if you choose to purchase through SimNet that you get the correct access code. Again, it's the $50 option. Now, if you are not able to purchase access right away, you will still need to register, but you can sign up for 14 days of courtesy access, and that gives you enough time to get settled in and complete your first week's assignments. Okay, so be sure to take a look at this. And then the last thing is to check into the discussion forums and introduce yourself. This is not a required assignment. This is more of an icebreaker, uh, especially for the online folks, uh, a way for us to get to know each other while you're taking the class, you know, interesting things about you and whatnot. So once you have done all that, you're ready to look at the modules. Now, before we get into the first week assignments, let me talk about getting support. You have the Canvas live chat, you have the open collaboration forum, and then new for this semester, we have COS tech support. You can contact our instructional assistants directly with questions related to your COS classes, including COSA 1 and 601, and you'll be able to schedule Zoom sessions with them if you are unable to come in person. And then finally, we have the student technology help desk. All right, how are we doing folks? Uh, again, if you need that pause button or if you need to take a break, you have that pause button. So let's go ahead and talk about what we are doing for the first week. Okay, so you wanna follow modules here or click on the link to modules. This is what the modules page looks like and we're gonna scroll down to week one here. We have three assignments for the week and again, the face-to-face -face folks, we're gonna start with Windows 11 training during the lab portion of the class. Online folks, since we have no scheduled class meetings, it's very important that you go through the Windows and Office overview and read this important information, okay? Uh, again, face-to-face -face folks, we're gonna go through this together. You have your Windows 11 training, your Office Essential Skills training, and then your Windows and Essential Skills quiz. Face-to-face -face folks, we're gonna go over the course particulars and then the Windows 11 training on Monday. And then Wednesday, you'll have time in class to work on office essential skills along with your quiz. These three assignments are due on Friday, October 27th. This is what the Windows 11 training looks like. Uh, it's not available right now, but you'll see that there are 24 tasks and your goal is to fill this progress meter all the way to 100%. These should be easy points. The training sims shouldn't take long and you definitely don't want to leave the points on the table. And it's going to be the same thing for the office essential skills training. Now, these three assignments are due on Friday, October 27, and the two training sims together are a participation requirement in the course. Now, I do have wait lists for both my online and face-to-face -face classes, so it's very important that you get settled in, you register with SimNet, and you complete the assignments on time. If you don't turn in both training sims, I'm going to assume that you're no longer interested in the class, and unfortunately, I will have to drop you in order to make room for those on the wait list. So let's make sure uh, if you're online, you get settled in, you register with SimNet, you get the assignments done, and then face-to-face -face folks, let's make sure that we're showing up to class. All right, uh, that should be it. Thank you for taking uh, the time to watch this and let's have a good eight weeks together, folks. Uh, take care of yourselves out there and uh, I'll see you Monday, October 23rd. Thanks for watching.